And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with another StarCraft 2 commentary. I am the Blue Terran in the Southwest, up against Fitted Cap, yet another good name for a Zerg player. Uh, he is the Red Zerg in the Northeast. He's kind of lazy and says same, doesn't say good luck, have fun, but whatever, the intent is there. Um, I do something in this game, this is going to be the last uh, game that I record in this set here. Um, th that I have wanted to do for so long and I'm so happy that I finally got it out. Um, if you've been watching my previous games against Zerg players, you probably know what I'm talking about. It is early in the game, I'll give you that hint. Um, and I had been talking about it previously, that, but i never gotten to do it, and this time I do, and I am ecstatic about it, about how it turned out. Here comes, uh... SCV coming out to do some scouting, checking out the Overlord. That's quite a late Overlord, if I must say. I don't know if, it, if the Overlords are just that slower. My SCV is just rocket propelled that fast. So I go into his base here, and I see a really early gas. Let's be honest. Um, I didn't see the exact timing of that, but I saw, hey, you know, the gas is done before the spawning pool, and he doesn't have much there, so I don't know exactly what's going on, but I do know that I need to check out his expansion. He's got two drones here, so automatically I'm thinking, oh, he wants to go for fast expansion. Oh, denied! Oh, engineering bay up, and SCV out, and running. Oh, look at that. That's beautiful right there. 247 HP. Oh, such a beautiful engineering bay. Spawning pool is up. He's got the gas fully saturated now. Um, I do have a gas up as well. Uh, but, you know, I have marines out and I'm pretty much going to get a reactor pretty soon. No, going to get another marine first because I want to deal with these two probes. They were able to finally go in and kill that SCV. Um, I failed tried to cl kill that drone, but of course the marine will handle the job without even taking a lick of health damage there. And there goes the overlord to scout over to see what is going on in my base. And um, does he see that second barracks going up? Yes, he does. Um, and I am able to kill that overlord. Does that supply block him? No, he's got another one out. Queen out as well. And look at that. He's going for a fast lair. Nothing really guarding his base. Just the queen. And of course, the drones. Um, but I've only got two marines out as well. Uh, just... just interesting play. I think I really threw him off with his engineering bay. That's really, uh, that, that's my story and I'm sticking to it, so to speak. And of course there it is on the production tab and it will probably never move. There's no, uh, I, I've never seen this. It's no progress on it, right? Because nobody's building it. So it's not even showing how far along it is. A Banely nest coming out for him, popping up right there. And a couple uh, uh, four zerglings, that's a little more than a couple. Four zerglings coming out. I do finish off a block off here. It's a pretty weak block off, uh, but this is kind of an awkward map, if I may say so, for, for well, at least this, this angle right here, uh, because, of course, add-ons have to go directly to the right of the bottom right corner of the building so it's kind of an awkward angle for a good block off this isn't going to be good against banelings but it'll do the job well enough against zerglings what i probably should have done was build another big building here instead of trying to cut it off here but i did want to keep the side advantage for any siege tanks set i might want to put like right there that would have been awesome i don't think i do that though overlord scouting no pretty much a random expansion there. I will never be going there. That's pretty much number four for me. I'd want to go for that high yield first. So he's going to be guarding that in case I at the 25 minute mark or so I decide to go there. And here I'm going for my first push because I do know that he's never gone 
for this expansion. I have to assume, really, that he's gone for a different expansion that he went uh, possibly and uh, took down the rocks here. Um, but I am going to get the Zelnaga Towers to keep an eye to see if I see any drones going out to see where I can go uh, to to take out his base. And now he's going to get mass Zerglings when he saw that army go out. I did take out that Overlord's... And I did supply lock him, but, for, but he was able to get all those banelings out fast, along with more zerglings that he pumped out way before that overlord died. So he is supply locked now. Uh, he is getting pneumatized carapace. I honestly don't know what that is. Where is that being researched? Um. Yeah, sorry guys. I feel stupid for not knowing what that is. But, there goes the army. And, uh, yeah, I stand no chance. Will I cancel the engineering bay? No, once those, once those banelings burst, that was the end of it for me. Uh, so I was not able to save all those uh, minerals. I believe I would have gotten about 80 back. Uh, would have been nice to get to get 80 minerals, but I do have 300, so I'm not too concerned about it. Now here, this is something that a lot of players do. Um, they don't keep track of where the Zelnaga Towers were, so I saw that he stopped and that he ran back to the base with what was left of his army. So I did know that he was not going for the counterattack. Um, even though it looked like he faked it with, you know, my dying sight, I was able to see that his... Oh, send message back to the main base. They're coming, but they they weren't coming. So now his expansion is just getting started. That is way too late for Zerg to start getting their first expansion. Ten and a half minutes, of course. Mine is just going up now, but I'm Terran, so I guess it's a little more under understandable. Creep tumors almost all the way down. Oh, that must have been what the Adrenal Glands did. That's Overlord Speed. Look at him go. Um, he's doing a great job of Creep Tumors, I'll be honest, because now he can run his, even the Queens, all the way between the bases. Pretty much no problem. And here, five Zerglings come in. Am I able to take any of them out with the Marine? Ah, uh, I get one. One's not bad. Um, but I do lose the Zelnaga Tower. And here it looks like he's going to be going for the other one. He doesn't want me to see anything. Overlord watching the third expansion. That is where I would go to number three. But I am not thinking about that yet. Right now I'm thinking about pushing with these siege tanks. Really, all he's got right now are Banelings and Zerglings, so really he's not uh, going to be prepared for anything that I'm sending in his way. These siege tanks, of course, if they're sieged up, it depends all on these Banelings. Oh, uh, Banelings. Um, he's got, he's still got so much gas, I'm not sure exactly what kind of strategy he was going for. It. it if he was going for just pure zergling, baneling, I don't know, he's got way too much gas for that. Not really harvesting anything off this expansion here. He did just now get the queen out though. Uh, he really should have trained it here and then moved it down while it was being built. Of course, that would have been great because these creep tumors, of course, did go all the way across. And here he's going for a, I don't know, a burrow defense. That's great, you know, usually with the, with the banelings. Honestly, um, I don't think I've mentioned this before, that this was actually one of my favorite tactics in uh, Brood War StarCraft 1 expansion was were those lurkers. I don't even remember how you built them. They might have been a morphed Zergling. They might have been trained at the hatchery. I don't remember anymore. 
but they could do massive amounts of damage while burrowed if you masked them up. There were some great custom maps uh, using those lurkers. I hope they bring them back in this expansion, but I doubt it. Uh, they were kind of overpowered, and they'd be useless, um, really, because of... Uh, I'd be able to get sight with the orbital command, which I'm not even using. Look at that. Oh my gosh, I have... I just assume I'm so far ahead in this game. I'm not even bothering with the energy there, and I'm not even morphing this in. I'm just pretty much scared of mutilisks now. Um, but of course, he doesn't even have a spire. He's got an infestation pit, but no infestors. Uh, wow. But he does have an eye on all the expansions, uh, so that I don't get an uh, expansion lead. But of course, he's not really mining off. Well, either one, it looks like. Uh, he does have a small lead in minerals, but um, that is because uh, I've stopped cranking out the mules. I haven't even gotten an orbital command on my second base. Oh my gosh, what am I doing? Not doing great in the mid to late game, because I was just still so stoked. Can you believe I got an engineering bay up? That was awesome. Did you see it? Um, no. Yeah, look at that. Now mules are out. <laughs> so, uh, I have double his minerals, now being morphed into a normal command. So, there we go. Macro finally coming back up for me, and I will be able to take the huge lead. Look at that, a second army coming out, including Banshee, because, one, I love the intimidation that a Banshee will bring. More than a Viking or a Medivac, if you send out a Banshee, boom. Overseer coming out, Spore Crawlers coming out. If I send a Medivac, they don't really care. Oh, and an SUV along for the ride. He's going to do some massive damage, right? Oh, go SUV, go! Take out the hatchery. Yeah, go SUV. And I stopped pretty much right outside. That was pretty bad placement of these burrowed units. And then up they come, and down they go. It doesn't look like they got any damage done. Um, uh, might have been some splash damage, but they did not explode right on the guys. Uh, so they didn't utilize their explosive capabilities to their fullest effect. No, I see he died! And down goes the hatchery, and down goes fitted cap. So that was the game. Um... Really, I just showed this because of the engineering bay. That was awesome. I love doing that. I want to do it again because I think it really threw him off the game. Because, I mean, look look at everything he has. He has baneling nests. He has spawning pool, infestation pit with neural parasite being researched. He's only got two infestors out, evolution chamber out, and still only... He only had about 30 harvesters before I started killing him. Max. Um on two base overlords hanging out here he did have good placement of the overlords to guard the base to make sure i wasn't getting an expansion and pooping out creep um because then i can't build there but because i think because i threw him off early um i was able to to stay ahead the entire game so i hope you guys enjoyed the game hope you learned hope you laughed hope to see you next time subscribe if you want to see more I'm out of here. I'm going to go to sleep. See you guys later.